Well, that's not a way to end George Strait with it just cutting out. <laughs> Again, folks, uh, we are here and broadcasting worldwide. Uh, I really appreciate you joining us today. And we are uh, talking to Steve Lane, my old buddy, who I want to get back on the show just for his commentary soon to talk about what's happening in the world. Don't forget this hour is brought to you by the great folks at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Stops hundreds of rounds from AK-47, M4, 30-06-308 more chromatic or ceramic armor. Stops six rounds. What about the seventh? Fits medium to XXL. Rated to level three armor. Made in the USA and owned by veterans, infidelbodyarmor.com. <coughs> the system does not want you to have this, obviously. Get it today. And then, also, this hour is brought to you by mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. The best quality storable foods last more than two decades. Non-GMO, great customer service. All the other high-quality key preparedness items you need. Heirloom seeds, emergency survival food, water filtration, survival provisions. Mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And then, of course, InfoWarsStore.com. And, folks, when you're, when you're in person with me, I get wound up sometimes. But I'm usually pretty calm, except when I'm on air. But I get up here, and I'm covering all this news on the border wide open and death trains with people falling off from Latin America by the tens of thousands a day and total bedlam and highway checkpoints having my rights taken away and NSA spying and microphones being put on street corners and it being announced by the Chicago Tribune. I mean, it's crazy I get excited and get fired up. But it's good to have folks that are calm like Steve Lane out there running for Congress as well. Steve Lane for Congress.com. Follow him on Twitter as well by going to that site. He has it right there on the front page. Volunteer. Tennesseans need to get behind this guy and get rid of the neocon. Because I know the, the guy he's running against, the incumbent, is associated with Cantor and all those blue bloods. Let's send him a message that the treason is starting to come to an end. Steve Lane for Congress.com. I could not think of a better candidate for Congress because I know this guy so well. Talked to him on the phone a couple times a year since he moved to Tennessee 15 years ago. Right before he moved, he came over to the house and we had some iced tea and talk before he went up there and uh, he said he was going to get politically active up there. And, well, he's been doing that, folks, promoting true liberty ideas across the party system and helping try to restore the republic. I want to play a clip before we go back to Steve um, that they found on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of videos of Steve hosting different TV shows on YouTube and on TV with myself. But this particular clip is yours truly slicing up a U.N. flag on U.N. Day in front of the Texas Capitol. You'll see Steve Lane to the right uh, helping hold the flag. Let's go ahead and go to some of this vintage audio and video of yours truly and Steve Lane. We need somebody to come hold this flag while we shred it. All right, let's all hold it. Hold it. We say to tyranny in the United Nations. Get it, Alex. The new world order. Get the idea of losing our sovereignty. We don't like this flag, and we're sick and tired of it. We, sure the United Nations we stand for this country, and we will defend it. The United Nations is a tyrannical, authoritarian, tyrannical. propaganda <laughs> arm and military arm of international control. It's got to be about 97. We refuse to submit. That's all that's going to be left the UN if they keep pushing their lies. The loss of U.S. sovereignty has gone too far. And now we see the border being collapsed. <laughs> Got a good old hillbilly music playing. Another one. I'm wearing a shirt that looks like a uh, Fourth of July picnic tablecloth. <laughs> What's Jeff Davis said? Oh, good old Jeff. We need to get him back on the show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's enough. Get that off of there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hadn't seen that in a long time. Steve, it's really fun, isn't it? It really is. I can hear Mike Hansen in the background, too. You can hear him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But cheers to my uh, old producer, for those uh, the listeners don't know. Your listeners know Mike well, though, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm going to shut up now because I've been, you know, I'll gibber. I'm the same as I was 18, 19 years ago. Uh, get into your plan again, what you would do in Congress. Start over at point number one. Well, actually, a couple of things. You know, first of all, you always have the best bumper music. You always have had, and you're quite the crooner, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh your listeners don't know this, but I've been uh, texting Alex pretty heavy, trying to get him to appear at our uh, our karaoke fundraiser. We're going to be having July 10th, which people can hear more about when we start really promoting it heavy. But uh, if they'll just Google Liberty Karaoke, it's been taking place. This is something a 
uh, uh, showing folks at Libertarians here. party like nobody else. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's a hometown guy here from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where I live, and he lives and works in D.C. now. And he uh, just on his own. He he uh, he likes to do uh, karaoke at an Irish bar around the corner from where he works. And he just got this idea. Hey, I'm going to invite some folks and try and raise some money for Justin Amash. And it was a smashing success, and it got a lot of uh, inside the building. And now they say that's what got Brat most of his money, and the socialists are getting really mad. See, they don't want us to have fun. They want us all stuffy, you know, hanging around with a bunch of blue bloods. No, that's all over. Uh, and, and you're right. It was just a lot of small donations, what it is, which is which is critical to campaigns like ours. And it's interesting you brought up Brat earlier. Uh, his campaign manager, Zach Werrell, and I actually are in the same graduating class of campaign management school at a wonderful organization called Leadership Institute. And uh, so we've kind of had eyes inside that campaign. They employ a lot of similar techniques to what we're doing. We're not just trying to change who goes to Washington. We're trying to change the path to Washington. And by that, I mean, instead of the old, old way of you run for city council, you run for county commission, you run for state house. Those effectively become farm teams for big government conservatives. It's very exciting. You know, you know, Steve, your, your Skype was great till we got you on air today. We're going to we're gonna go to phone right now. We're going to call you on phone right now because it's degraded. Sure. That's Steve Lane. And Steve, anytime you want to fly down here, buddy, and be in studio, you can come co-host the show with me one day. How's that sound? Hell, yeah, we'll buy absolutely. you a plane ticket if we got to. So get your butt down here to Austin, and uh, we'll get you in studio. That way the uh, audio and video will go out. Uh, hooker by crook or the water doesn't raise over Barra Creek, as they say. Water don't raise. You don't even say rise. Water don't raise over Barra Creek. I better watch her. I'm going to really start talking like a hillbilly, ladies and gentlemen. I see, I have to have my cultured, my British accent on here today for folks. Mm. But uh, we're reconnecting with Steve Lane. By the way, just a plug here real fast. We have the new Molon Lambe belt buckles in that I came up with the concept for and that our designers then basically uh, helped finish. And they are kind of like cowboy belt buckles, but look a lot better. They're not as ornate. They're just very manly. We've got them in nickel uh, bronze and in straight bronze, made in the USA, veteran company. And we're almost sold out of the George Washington belt buckles. And that's it for them. This is limited edition. These Moan Lambe will sell quick. It's the same design as the Moan Lambe men and women's t-shirts. Nobody has got a Moan Lambe design this good, and these cost about half the cost of a regular nickeled uh, pure bronze belt buckle in it, and they're numbered 1 to 500. The George Washington are almost sold out, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, these Moan Lambe will sell out very quickly. There's 500 of the bronze, 500 of the nickel-plated bronze. Uh, it's actually plated. It's a different process, and it's just, it's, it's just as good as it gets straight up. It's a great conversation piece and I now wear this belt buckle all the time. I don't wear cowboy boots probably one or two days a week or uh, I'm out you know out in the woods or something uh, but more and more I'm wearing my cowboy boots and wearing my Molon Lambe belt but you can wear it even with dress slacks you name it. It's a great way to start conversation pieces. Infowarsstore.com all made in America made in 1776.com or call toll free 888-253-3139 and you don't just get some great apparel to meet like-minded people made in America. You fund a hardcore liberty tip of the spear that is setting the precedent forcing the AP to admit the government shipping the illegals in and freeing them. This is seismic. Now Congress will be forced to act. They can't deny it. We're hitting them. We're hitting them hard. Mid-air refueling. Fund us today infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139 go to steve lane for congress.com now i want to go to some calls steve and i hope you'll i don't know if i can go to your karaoke thing you'll do it that'll be important to do and be a lot of fun come here we'll raise you the money buddy i will you know send folks to you that'll do that now uh get into your planks right now start start back over at uh, number one uh, well, the biggest thing that I'm working on is uh, we need to reduce our debt. It's we're, we're leaving just the most crushing debt. It's unimaginable. Most people can't fathom what it means to have even $17 trillion in debt, and that's only getting worse. Um, we need to just stick to the enumerated powers of the Constitution uh, in order to do that. If you look at Article 1, Section 8, it outlines 18 enumerated powers in the Constitution. Most fall roughly into two categories. Uh, that is uh, interstate commerce and national defense. And if we 
uh, start moving things back to those enumerated powers. We can truly cut spending. I propose uh, what's called the Penny Plan. Uh, you'll notice we use Penny Logo everywhere, everything we do, for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of them is the idea of not one more red cent in debt. The other one is uh, Connie Mack, who used to be a congressman in Florida and tried to run for Senate but was unsuccessful. He had developed something called the Mack Penny Plan. Now it's just called the Penny Plan. And the idea is you freeze the budget in year one, don't spend any more, don't spend any less. Then in uh, the four successive years, you cut one penny of every dollar out of the budget. And by year four or five, depending on which projections you look at, you end up with a balanced budget. So it's a very simple plan, something that everybody can understand. Um, and if we get back to those enumerated powers, the Constitution, you know, uh, uh, shift that power back to the states and local governance, then it would be easy to, to do those kind of cuts at the federal level. Absolutely. And we know you're on the penny planner. You'd have a better telephone. <laughs> I'm just joking.